can the Green Bay Packers survive without their star quarterback, Jordan Love? This past Sunday, the Packers proved they could, as they secured a nail-biting 16-10 victory over the Indianapolis Colts in Week 2. With a dominating run game and a defense that rebounded from a rough first outing, the Packers showed grit and resilience. Malik Willis stepped up in the spotlight, and the offensive line led the charge with an unstoppable ground attack. What does this win mean for the Packers' future? Stick with me as we break down the standout moments, key performances, and what fans can expect going forward. From a defensive resurgence to Eric Wilson's timely interception, there's plenty to unpack. Stay tuned as we dive into the details. Don't forget to comment, hit the like button, and subscribe to stay updated on all the Packers news. What happens when a team faces adversity early in the season? For the Green Bay Packers, missing their starting quarterback Jordan Love could have been a massive hurdle. Yet, Sunday's 16-10 win against the Colts showed us something remarkable. This team can adapt. But it wasn't just about surviving, it was about thriving, especially with a run game that dominated and a defense that found its footing after a shaky week one. I remember watching the game and thinking, can Malik Willis step up? Can the Packers adjust without love? The answers unfolded in dramatic fashion. From the offensive line's bulldozing performance to a defense that refused to break, the Packers not only won, but also gave fans a reason to believe in the depth of their roster. In today's breakdown, we'll cover six standout performances that fueled this crucial victory. So, let's dive in, starting with the heart of any strong football team. The offensive line. When you hear that a team rushed for over 260 yards, you know something went right in the trenches. The Packers' offensive line was nothing short of dominant, especially when you consider the circumstances. Without Jordan Love, they needed to protect Malik Willis and open up lanes for the run game. And boy, did they deliver. The Colts' defense knew exactly what was coming, a heavy dose of the run. Yet, they couldn't stop it. The offensive line consistently created wide lanes for the running backs, who averaged nearly five yards per carry. The line also did its job in pass protection, giving Willis the time and space to make plays. He never took a sack. And that's a credit to the guys up front. By the end of the game, it was clear that the offensive line had set the tone. They outmuscled the Colts and showed why a strong foundation is key to offensive success. This performance will give Packers fans hope as the team continues its journey through the season. Defense wins championships, and Devontae Wyatt showed why he's a player to watch this season. From the first snap, Wyatt was a constant presence in the backfield. His ability to disrupt plays was crucial, especially in the second half, when he registered a key sack on Colts quarterback Anthony Richardson. I remember the moment clearly. Richardson dropped back, and before he could even scan the field, Wyatt was on him. That sack set the tone for a defensive stand that forced the Colts into a long third down, ultimately leading to a turnover on downs. Wyatt wasn't done there. He later chased Richardson out of the pocket, forcing an errant throw that led to a missed field goal. Wyatt's presence has been a consistent headache for opposing teams. As he continues to grow in his role, Packers fans should be excited about what's to come from this emerging defensive star. It's said that big players make big plays in crucial moments, and Xavier McKinney delivered exactly that. With the game still hanging in the balance, McKinney's second interception of the season couldn't have come at a better time. Anthony Richardson, scrambling to find an open receiver, overthrew his target, and McKinney was there to capitalize. But McKinney didn't stop there. He made his presence felt in the run game too. On a critical third and one, Richardson pitched the ball to Trey Sermon, only for McKinney to meet him in the backfield for a loss. This play not only forced the Colts into a long field goal attempt, but it also swung momentum fully in Green Bay's favor. McKinney's ability to step up as both a pass defender and a run stopper shows just how versatile and valuable he is to this Packers defense. His knack for reading the game will be key in the matchups to come. Every game has its unsung heroes, and this week, it was linebacker Eric Wilson. Up until Sunday, Wilson had mostly been a special teams contributor. But in the fourth quarter, with the Colts threatening to cut into Green Bay's lead, Wilson made the play of his career. 
As Richardson dropped back and tried to fit the ball into tight coverage, Wilson read the play perfectly, stepping in front of the pass for his first interception as a Packer. It was a pivotal moment that effectively sealed the win for Green Bay. The joy on his face as he jogged off the field told the story. For Wilson, this was more than just an interception. It was a statement. After years of hard work and limited opportunities, he showed that he can be a difference maker on defense. Going forward, we might be hearing his name a lot more. How do you step into the shoes of a star quarterback like Jordan Love? Malik Willis answered that question with poise, confidence, and, most importantly, results. In just his first start as a Packer, Willis completed 86% of his passes, throwing for 122 yards and a touchdown. The story wasn't just about stats, it was about the way Willis managed the game. He stayed calm under pressure, made smart decisions, and never let the moment overwhelm him. The offensive game plan helped, of course. Coach Matt LaFleur dialed up a balanced attack that played to Willis' strengths, mixing in runs and short passes to keep the Colts' defense guessing. By the end of the game, Willis had done more than enough to quiet any doubts about his ability to lead this team in Love's absence. The Packers' future looks bright whether Love or Willis is under center. When it comes to preparing a team, few do it better than Matt LaFleur. With only three weeks to integrate Malik Willis into the system, LaFleur crafted a game plan that maximized the strengths of his roster. He knew the Colts would expect a run-heavy attack, but he also knew how to keep them off balance with well-timed passing plays. LaFleur's genius showed in the Packers' time of possession, controlling the clock for over 40 minutes. This dominance allowed the Packers' defense to rest and come out fresh, while the offense methodically wore down the Colts. It's easy to overlook the work of a head coach, but LaFleur's fingerprints were all over this win. His ability to adapt and game plan gives Packers fans confidence that no matter the obstacles, their team is in good hands. Conclusion The Packers' 16-10 victory over the Colts wasn't just a win, it was a statement. From the offensive line's dominance to the defense's timely plays, this was a team effort in every sense. And while there were plenty of standout moments, what truly shone through was the resilience and depth of this Packers roster. As the team prepares to take on the Tennessee Titans next week, the question remains, how far can they go this season? With performances like these, the sky's the limit. But what do you think? Will the Packers continue this momentum? Be sure to leave a comment below, hit the like button if you enjoyed this breakdown, and subscribe for more Packers news and analysis. Let's keep the conversation going. Go Pack Go!